Welcome back, campers. This is Candy Adventures. I'm Chris. And I'm Elizabeth. And we are back in black. Black, as you can see the sky up here and back on the ocean. The last few of our videos have not been on the ocean, but we're back in black. That's not the song that was playing. It, what do you mean that song I was playing? The song I took a week to memorize? That was back in black. No, that, the that song was, was obviously back in black by ACDC. No, that was the Motley Crue song. Were you trying to do the back in black song? So this is all just a colossal waste of time. Yeah, if you were trying to do the back in black song. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> There's a week of me not mowing the yard or changing the oil on the truck uh, to learn a stupid song that doesn't even match with uh, the badass thing I had in my head to do here uh, for this intro. The badass thing meaning fingerless gloves. Everything's badass with fingerless gloves. Yes, that's the whole point of everything. I learned a song and we flew a drone and drove around for 20 minutes because of this fucking glove. I got this glove for my birthday and uh, I said I'm going to use this thing and we did. So today, uh, We've got our spearfishing stuff, and we've got some trolling stuff. We're back out on the water. Uh, we're in the northern, uh, I guess the mid-central, but heading up towards the northern part of Guam here in the Marianas Islands. We just had a week of really, really rough, choppy water with uh, like 15-foot swells, small boat advisory warnings, and we found one day of low. So we're trying to take advantage of it. All right, let's uh, put some rods in the water and troll on our way up to see if we might do some spear fishing if we can find a good spot. Hopefully we can put a fish in the boat today and do a little catch and cook. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, why do you only have one glove? Uh, if you have two fingerless gloves, it just looks like you're a lady exercising and don't want to have calluses. But if you have one fingerless glove, it looks like you're a lady who likes to dance. <laughs> do you like to dance? Do I like to dance? <laughs> All right, set the hooks out here. This is actually the same spot where we caught a rogue wahoo about a month ago. So maybe we can pick another one up, but it's mostly just tuna season here. Uh, bonita, I think is what most people are catching and some sailfish. We've, I hope we don't hook a sailfish. We can't do anything with it um, with our little setup, but hopefully we catch some bonita. Barracuda or a Wahoo. Mine's still all the way out there. Fuck. 
slow the boat down a little, maybe? Yeah. No, it's a wahoo. It's a wahoo? Woo! Wahoo! <laughs> okay, can you open the cooler? Maybe. Can you put that in the rod holder? All right, nice wahoo. Nice wahoo. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Nice fish. Okay. Watch your foot. Can you, um. Yeah. I can think mine is still on. I'm not can sure. Can you whack that one? Yeah. Okay. I really wish we had power steering. Yeah. Mine might have gotten off. Nope. Okay. We're, um, halfway through that exciting cluster fuck. Um, Chris just reeled in his Wahoo. Mine was still all the way out, it dragged it out. There's no way for me to reel it in and steer the boat because we don't have power steering. So every time I tried to reel in the fish, the boat would just immediately start turning. So, uh, there is like, I was basically just holding it in place. Our bimini top gets in the way of our pin locks. So they're not working right now with the way our poles go in. I love bimini tops, but they're always in the way. But it uh, looks like the fish is still on. I thought it might have been like a school of mahi since both of our uh, lures got hit. But Chris's first fish is a wahoo. So we'll see what the second one is. Ooh. We've never doubled up on fish before. So this is super exciting for us. Whew. All right, two nice wahoo. That's a very pretty fish, do you wanna let it go? Yeah. We already got one nice wahoo. Really pretty fish. Uh, this one's still kicking and strong, so we're gonna let this one go back. Somebody else can catch it. Maybe this guy can make some babies. Uh, but beautiful fish. All right, pretty sure this guy will be fine. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. We don't, that, that wahoo we caught before was bigger and uh, no sense in keeping both. We can't eat both. So beautiful fish. Maybe somebody will get this in the wahoo tournament coming up in a couple weeks. Woohoo. He's hooked clean, if I can just get to the hook. I'm very nervous about getting bit with Wahoo. Are you trying to say these gloves will come in handy? Yep, as a joke, but these gloves are actually coming in handy. Oh, it got off. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so that's the bigger Wahoo, the one we kept. We let the other one go, hopefully it's okay. Swam off, hopefully that thing breeds and you know we don't need two fish. Um, but this is a fantastic fish. This is, uh, I don't know how much this thing weighs, 20, 25 pounds, somewhere in there, but uh, amazing Wahoo. I didn't think it was Wahoo season, see, Wahoo season here. And we had a double hookup. Uh, both me and Elizabeth got hooked up on a fish at the same time. And uh, you should see by that was complete chaos, complete and utter chaos. Um, but we're super stoked for this fish. Um, so now we can relax a little bit, maybe go back and cook this thing up. We just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone that has donated via Patreon or PayPal. These donations have gone towards improving cameras, microphones, repairing drones, and boat gas. And we're definitely not forgetting the people that have purchased Rock Bottom or Candy Adventures merchandise. We love getting the messages and pictures of you guys wearing the stuff in your day to day. Bimini tops always getting in the way. I love them. I always take them off the boat. Today I just put it back on for the first time. Rock bottom. And as you can see, it immediately came in the way and caused a big problem. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Bimini tops always in the way. We almost always push it to where it's dark and we're relying on the GPS to get us back into the channels because we can't see where the reef is, where to get back into the uh, boat basins. Uh, but today we're going to go back in daylight. So after that pure chaos, 
Uh, we're headed back. It's nice and calm now. We can relax. But uh, complete surprise, we thought we would maybe catch tuna since wahoo and mahi and stuff are still out of season. So we had tiny lures, you know, lighter line, and somehow still got two monsters. Yeah, monsters for us anyway. Um, <laughs> and I think in a month or so, there's going to be a wahoo and mahi and uh, a sailfish tournament. So looks like they're here already. I, maybe they're not. Maybe we just got lucky. I'm not sure. We're still learning what fish is where and what season. But Yeah. But really cool. And now I feel like an idiot because I started off this this episode with a joke, making fun of fingerless gloves. Uh, and oh, the irony as I put those fingerless gloves on, dealing with those two wahoo, uh, me going from mocking the gloves to wearing the gloves. And now you, you can't see it here, but on the palm of my hands, it's both blisters from uh, putting those fish in the boat because our pin lock systems weren't working and I was having to hold the rod from twisting back and forth. Um, so mocked mocked the gloves then i put the gloves on i'm eating my own socks tonight uh, but anyway let's uh troll back and get these wahoo on the grill or this wahoo on the grill also no spear fishing today that was kind of our goal to troll on the way to go spear fishing but maybe next time yeah after that it's just time to go back too much good luck uh we'll probably go try to do some uh, spear fishing tomorrow yeah see you uh, back at the house made it back. We got this Wahoo uh, out on our little table and our new apartment, our new house here that we rent has jungle behind it. So when we're done cutting this, we get to throw it into the jungle. So I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> There's no more uh, dread about coming home to clean fish and having the fish guts rot in a trash can. And I think we decided on uh, some fried fish and make some fried fish sandwiches with queso dip sauce, uh, mm. which is just the most highly Thing I can possibly think to do with a Wahoo, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean this thing up and put the rest in some gallon Ziploc bags and fry some up for dinner. So we got our filet off of one side here. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, uh, and now we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. There's our second filet. Uh, now I just gotta work out a little bit more meat out of, uh, out of the head. There's a little bit of more meat and uh, maybe try to get a little more off the bellies, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, whoop. We're going to go ahead and clean these big beautiful fillets up a little bit. Okay, welcome back. Our oil is nice and hot and we test it the only way we know how, which is stick a wood stick inside of it until you see a bunch of bubbles. So looks like it's about the right temperature. We have our uh, fry set up here, our, our ingredients. We have some flour, which we just put some salt and pepper in it, super boring. And then we're just going to dip it in flour. Uh, douse it in the egg wash, and then we're gonna put it in some uh, Italian breadcrumbs. I thought these said island breadcrumbs when I bought them. I wasn't even paying attention, so I assumed panko. I just assumed, oh, we're an island, people like panko. No, this is Italian breadcrumbs. So I thought we were making panko, panko crust, but no, we're making Italian bread crusted raw Wahoo sandwiches. Well, we're putting white people queso on top yep. of it anyway, so it's okay. We try to do too much on this channel. Cook, fish, dive, dirt bike ride, camp, off-road, explore national parks. Uh, it's just, and, and review movies, mm -hmm. review gear and boats. And as you can see, we're masters of none of these things. <laughs> none of these things are we masters at, as you can see here. <laughs> I like how you added the tongs for sass there. Well, I don't have a cigarette. If you have a cigarette, you can really put an exclamation point on a sentence. You can really uh... punctuate, you can punctuate a sentence, you know, like. How? We're really not masters of anything. And then flick the, flick the end. Yeah, but since <laughs> I don't smoke, I can just use these to put punctuation on the things I'm seeing. <laughs> Alright, everything's fried up. Fish looks pretty good. Now we're going to dig into our sandwiches and see if this tastes like something. <laughs> I want to pick a sandwichy sized piece, like this one. This looks kind of sandwichy. Cheers! That's super good. Mm -hmm. We're very, I was trying so hard not to burn this Wahoo, that leaving it just a little 
light colored in the middle mm -hmm. uh, with this with this Italian breading. This is actually super, super good. And the queso gives it a little bit of flavor. Um, I know white people aren't known for flavor, um, <laughs> but we do like <laughs> so a little spice and cheese on our fish sandwich. So. We do. Uh, never had a fried Wahoo fish sandwich before, but this is awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video and uh, watching the random chaos ensue and trying to get both these Wahoo reeled in and releasing one. Glad that uh, we were able to throw one back that we didn't need. Um, and dinner actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, so thanks for sticking around. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Imagine plugging in the SD card into your computer and finding this file that you didn't know existed and you have absolutely no context as to what this is for. That's the situation I found myself in, so I had to share with you guys I was not prepared for the musical intro of this video until I discovered this. I'll never look at a buoy the same way again.